Look at this. I got headphones <laughs> on. I got a mic going. <laughs> Baby. Huh? If only people could see you now. <laughs> hey, no video. We've gone through this before. All right, no all video. right, all right. <laughs> Welcome to This Commerce Life. This is a podcast aimed at small, medium entrepreneurs focused on commerce. I'm Phil, your host, and Kenny, your co-host, will join us as well. And we're going to talk to you about the world of retail and commerce and how things are changing in the world. To record audio. I think that's me. Hold on. Well, I'll check my Hello? two. No, oh. I should be okay. Nothing? Oh no, sorry. That's the right microphone. And then this is, hello? Hello? Hey, there we are. Hey, what's going on in the kitchen? What's going on, man? What is you going on? You must be on? tired. You had to work. <laughs> uh, I had to work and then come home and work and then work some more. And it's the life I chose, man. All good in the hood, you baby. Know? Did the life All choose me or did I choose the life? You know what I mean? So I don't know. What's the, what's the difference? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know either. Uh, I um I, I gotta get this off my chest or I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna stew on it all night. I, I saw don't. an article in LinkedIn today. Um I don't know where it is. When I find it again, I will yeah. send it to you. But I typed a very long response on my phone and then posted it and then deleted it. Um, because I'm, you know, I'm conscious of the fact that I'm not just a freelancer, but I've got a company that, you know, I've got in my LinkedIn resume or my LinkedIn titles now too. But the article was about how layoffs need to be more humane that companies that lay employees off need to do a better job of it. It needs to be, you know, and, and all these people are like, we agree, and um, there needs to be a more humane way. And I just, you know, like the cold, dark, soulless bastard that I am, I took issue to the whole thing. I, I just think I've always thought this way. And I think having been a contractor as well, as it makes me upset because... I think that when you're a white collar worker, the best thing you can do for yourself is to keep your skills up. Um, and then the next best thing you can do is always know when your time is up at a company, right? Like you yeah. knew when your time was up. I knew when my time was up, you know, you know what I mean? Like, like it's, it's kind of that, you know, the new world is, is full of skills that you have to have, right? Like full-time life is a trap in my mind, I, I get you get a lot of security, but there is no security. Like when the relationship, when the business isn't getting what they need anymore out of the relationship, you're done. Do you know? Like, yeah. And I totally, I guess I totally agree with you. Except you think I'm a cold, dark, soulless bastard. No, <laughs> no, I, I don't. And I'll, and I'll tell you why. No, I'll, <laughs> Well, maybe you are. Okay, that's really got nothing to do with this conversation right now, though. I guess what you got to are not layoffs have not been around for layoffs. Laying off people um, is relatively new concept. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's thirty years old, four years old. Yeah, yeah, right. I think the concept of laying off people really started in the seventies. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Yeah, into I the late so. 70s. Yeah. And really what it became, why <clears throat> I think people get agitated with laying off. And I'm not too sure about the future, um, how to do that. Um, I guess you, you got to go to what's the root cause of the layoff? If, if shitty management or... Um, you know, laying off with, with, with the thing of profitability and then you're, you know, you're, 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 you, 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 10 minutes later, you see bonuses go yeah. for all the execs and this yeah. and that, right? I think people get sort of agitated with the layoff. And I think when the greed is thing happened in the late 70s, early 80s, yep. you had people doing the layoff thing. It had shit to do with job skills. Yeah. or lack thereof, yeah. it was all about 
money, the shareholder, and my yeah. bonus. Yeah. So I think what people are probably, I haven't read, I didn't read your article yeah. yet. It's, I took a look at his down. I mean, yeah. Chicken shit. But I, even saying that, I mean, I guess what it is, I think that's for people, you know, if, if you have to lay off and restructure a building because you're yeah. in the skids yeah. and shit's happening, I, yeah. I think there's, there's, you know what, even most employees, would probably try to find a way to help maybe take pay cuts, et cetera. But I yeah. think the problem with, with, and I don't know what the people respond. I didn't see the article. Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing what people are saying is, you know, fuck, these guys are taking a hundred million dollar bonuses and we're laying people off when really it took a $90 million bonus. You could have kept them. It wouldn't, wouldn't cost you anything. Yeah. Maybe. So maybe that's where people were coming from. I mean, I don't know because I, I didn't yeah. read it, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I, you know what? It, um, <clears throat> and I'm mad I can't find it now. But um, and the skill set thing, you're right. I mean, if you know, listen, if you want to be a fisherman in 2019, it's probably not the safest profession to go into. And I and I, yeah. and I get that. But, but if you are also a fisherman company, yeah. And the big boss is you know buying the Ferrari and the yacht, and he's entitled to it. Says it says thing. Yeah, it just becomes you know where the reason we've got so much problems in this world, I think, right now is because of the disparity of of how money yeah. is yeah. Uh, flowing through the system. Yes, we've yeah. never been richer. Yes, we've never been healthier. But that's all yeah. awesome, and yeah. that's awesome for our family and your family. Yep, because yeah. we're not. I mean, as bizarre as it sounds, we're probably in that top one percent. Yeah, we totally are. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the majority of people I know yep. and that that I work with not for the with yeah. people yeah um fuck man they're, they're not, not a lot of them are not no. in the top 90 no <laughs> I, mean, I shouldn't say that this is canada i don't know i don't again i don't yeah. want to start throwing numbers out yeah, there. Yeah, i don't yeah, know yeah. or camp yeah. back but really and truly yeah you know our little world is not a bad gig man no it's not at all no you i know I think... you're trying not to take a job because you don't know if you should and they think it's a negotiating yeah. ploy for salary yeah. i mean seriously yeah. I know, I know. No, but but I think I think my thing is more like I think I, you know I, I've got one friend who's um, a contractor now, um, who used to be a full time employee, and I kept saying to him, "Look, you know," he was like, "All I really want is a full time job," and I kept saying to him, "Look, when you say things like that, it makes me worry, right?" Because that means that you're, you're kind of looking at this place like a retirement home, right? Like you're going to go there, you're going to move in, <laughs> right? Yeah. And you're not leaving. And, and that worries me, right? Because, you know, you know, as well as I do, we're, we're kind of in that age group, right? Like I'm in the beginning stages of that. I'm 46, right? You're in your 50s. I'm 53. And, this would be the worst year to be sort of in yeah. corporate world. You know, 53. Yeah. I think you and I talked about this in one this podcast. This is the dead zone, this right? Like this is, is, you know. the worst yeah. age. Yeah, yeah. And because this, I'm totally fireable. Yeah. And this is, this is when 50, you know, at 50 to 53 or 55, is when, you know, middle, if you're in middle management, if you're any sort of like manager or associate director or senior manager or team lead, this is when you start, you know, gripping the mouse a little bit harder. You start getting anxiety because you're not quite finished your mortgage. The kids are still in school. You got bills to pay, but you just realize like, if the company lets me go, I may or may not have the ability to go out and get another job, Right. Um, you know, whether that's age and the company knows or they're not, they're not correct. invested in you. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Correct. So think right. from the company, they're saying, okay, 53. Yeah. If the guy sticks around four or five more years, ah, oh, fuck man, we're stuck yeah. with him to the end. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Right. So you know what? Yeah. If we got him now, it's a little pricey, but depends what we did with them. The guy went sort of contract with us at 51. Yeah. So quite frankly, all the seniority, I think probably went down the toilet. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah, they start yeah, doing yeah. that. You become, yeah. Okay, you this become is expensive you fast, right? Like what yeah. people were saying. Yeah. You are straight a number. Yeah. And not an employee number. You're a dollar and cents number. Yeah. 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 You're a cost yeah. center to the company. Yep. How do I mitigate yeah. the, the cost center? And I, and how I sad is that? I, but, but I also think like in this day and age, like in the last 20 years, education for, white collar workers has never been more accessible, right? Like, you know, 
costly though, parents, though. You know, when you're parent, well, some of it, yes, yeah, some of it, no. I mean, there's a lot of online training you can do. There's a there's lot. A, of, you're right, you know, but education um, like I got, I yeah. got because my mom and dad yeah. paid for me. So yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't have student loans. Yep. You know what? Yep. My kids, kids don't have student loans. Yeah. And not no, because no, I, I was a we were brilliant parents. Yeah. It's just I think we we're Italian heritage and. Your kids are going to school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you had them. the hold for the kid, right? Like I know. Well, you had them. I mean, what else yeah. are you supposed to do with them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's but, part of the package, right? I just think that there's a lot of training out there. Like I think yeah. employees need to, you know, they they need. You got to step up and make yourself uh, not yeah. redundant. Yeah, not. you, you got to keep your skills up, right? Like right. You know. But there's a lot of yeah. situations, and again, I didn't read the article. Agree. Agree. And I so and I, and I yeah. don't know the yeah. person who responded. Yeah. You are you may have never been in a lay off position, and you have had a whole bunch of people thinking, you know what, man, I was at forty five and fifty, yeah. and I had a skill set that made sense for that business. Yep. I just didn't fit. The, I didn't fit the shareholders' dream for that that, that quarter, yep. that year. Yep. You know what? Yep. Me and the hundred people that got laid off, that was the difference between the three million dollar bonus that the CEO took or whatever it was versus totally. us yeah. staying employed. Yeah. Hence, yeah. why you get yeah. animosity yeah. and the humane part yeah. of it, right? Yep. See how, anyway. see how, see how much I, you know, 20 years ago, you'd ask me that. I would have said, whatever, fucking stop one thing. <laughs> this is what happens when you have kids, <laughs> right? And kids who grow up yeah, in yeah. very liberal yeah. um, education systems, et cetera. Yeah. And yeah. old far conservatives mellow and become very sad and soft of the age <laughs> that I start seeing both sides of the story. What happened? Yeah. yeah I don't know. What happened? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know if this is good. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, that was what was on my chest. I, I got really irritated about it. And I just, I, I started typing, typing, typing. I posted and I was like, yeah, oh, geez, son of a, I can't do this, right? Like I, you know. I, I think you can though, in fairness. I mean, you know, as long as you didn't go on to, I mean, I know it sounds like a bit of a rant that you might've gone on to, but, but quite frankly, if, if your bosses uh, now came up to you and were talking about this, it'd probably be the same thing you would say anyway. It's nothing you wouldn't say or not say. The thing is, you probably tell them, listen, yeah. if in fairness, this is a, a layoff for, here's the reasons. Yeah. We're, we're bleeding. Like, yeah. we're just bleeding. Yeah. And we've got to save some money. I'm not, I think the problem is that I'm also an outlier. Like, I am that guy. Like, anytime, you know, because I am, I'm 46. And so, I have lots of friends that are now, you know, kind of gripping the desk. They're, they're worried about it because everybody that I know in packaged goods right yeah. now is worried about a layoff of some sort, a restructure, a layoff, right? And and they're all in that Good age group, right? They're approaching them. They're one buy away from all. a buyout. Yeah, yeah. But but Literally. in every case, I've said, guys, like if you know what's coming, you got to start thinking about what you want to be next, right? You got to start moving that way, right? Like yeah, it could Phil, be a hobby, it. it could be, you know, no, no. I it's I totally get it. I, I totally get it, right? But but You're it's very just, sensitive. Um, <laughs> I told you, I'm a cold. <laughs> So no, but but I it makes me excited. Where everybody gets anxious, I get excited because I think I don't think of jobs like I don't think of work as being um, a thing you do. Like I think it's I think the way that even the way we've done it in the podcast <clears throat> is it's a journey, right? Like you know, I get it. But you know, listen, I, I came from a company that you know. I, I, even in the office, the average lifespan was 30, 35 years. Yeah, I totally this, get it. This was, you know, yeah. I left in 2016. Yeah. At 26 years, I wasn't even close to being the longest guy in the building. Um, yeah. But mid-pack, I mean, seriously, do you know what I mean? So yeah. I came from a world yeah. very different than you. Like when we yeah. first I think when I when I met you in the bar and we were talking, like I mean, I'm finally getting my groove, yeah, yeah, and and getting yeah. excited about it. But yeah. you know what? For a time, they're thinking, "What yeah. the fuck did I do?" Kind of, kind you know, hairy. I thought yeah. this was going to be different, and again, yeah, it yeah. wasn't that bad. Yeah, it was, but it was scary because I was used to the same thing. Yeah. Twenty six years, every two weeks, I got a paycheck. I didn't worry yeah, about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. All of a sudden, you're waiting and thinking, Holy "I, I shit, think that I think the point is, I think the point I'm trying to get to is, I think in this day and age. If you are, if you're listening to this, you're probably in that age group anyway. And so not to make you panic. Or you're more like us anyway. You're probably going to agree with it. Yeah, you, you, you probably need to reskill, right? Like whatever you're doing, you should 
go out and figure out what it is that you know you want to do next and start thinking about it right like really I totally agree. You know, just or take a look at what you're right? doing. Like, yeah. If what yeah. you're doing is, is something that's viable in 10 years, like, and, and do yes. use your head. Like, yeah. if you're a chimney sweep right now, yeah. probably not 10 years yeah. viable. Okay. Yeah. I mean, realistic. I'm trying to be facetious. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got thinking. it. Yeah. But okay, let's say yeah. you're in the office and you're a buyer. Yeah. And the more and more software comes in that you, you, you could end up in, then why don't you be the guy that really understands how to yeah. build the back end? Yeah, yeah. Why don't you get involved in yeah. what the data is that goes yeah. in? Like, yeah. Be the expert in the other thing. You you've can't got to find that. Yeah. You, you've got, you've, yeah. listen, at the end of the day, it comes down, and this is where entrepreneurs are, are probably a little different wired. There is no obligation for anybody to hold your hand to the day you die. Yeah. No. It's nice. Thank no. God we live in Canada. Yeah. yeah. Right. If we get sick, yeah. there's people there. And quite frankly, the system, for the most part, for the most part, protects us as, as a society where, yeah. you know, it's hard to say anything because you're going to get yourself into trouble on yeah. how you say it. But at the end of the day, really and truly, if you're going to be anywhere on the planet that it, even if you're in a shitty spot, you, you, you potentially could get out of it. Even if not on your own, yep. grabbing, I, again, I mean, I don't want to simpl simplify people really down and out. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not, I'm not getting yeah. it. But yeah. yeah, you're right. It, it's, it's, a, you know, you can, you can, you can take a course or two. You can listen to these stupid podcasts. Yeah. Right, you can get yeah. motivated by two knuckleheads that 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 don't know much about anything, but could probably get you to a point where you're not scared shitless to make it make a change yeah, because they so. did it. Yeah, I think and so. Those two dummies did okay. Yeah. So what the hell, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, how bad can it really be? Yeah. Anyway, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't have, I don't know, I don't have a trade. I, I don't, I don't even know shit within the industry that I'm in. Like, I don't know how to do computer stuff. Right. All I've got is what's between my two years. What are you talking you know? about? Yes, you can. Yes, Listen, you, I, you know what I, I sell the, what, what's sellable in for me or even for you, I guess, is the fact that I, do, I know things that yeah. someone else may not. Yeah. Yeah. My yeah, knowledge, yeah. my expertise yep. um, is, is what I sell. Yeah. Right. Yeah. As an individual in the building, you, you may discount yourself, but what expertise do you have? Right. Yeah. And what can you exploit? And what is that course to make you the best? I mean, whatever it is, I don't care what you are. If you're a merchandising assistant, how do you become the merchant? Yeah. How do you become higher? If you, if you do choose not to, under, that's awesome. Yep. But understand that the lower on the rung you are, the more easily you are to be replaced. And I know yeah. that's cold. That's cold. And I get it. Cold, but heartless it, bastard. It, Ah, you know what? Fuck, that's still me, right? <laughs> still the that they can very well me. Come and join me, think, my friend. Well, you know what? Because I still think you have to do your own fucking thing. I mean, get off your ass and do something. You gotta, yeah, you got to. Sorry, you got to do it. Right. Like, I can't, that's, I can't that's drag the, you through it. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, right? Is you, you, you control your life. Like, it's just, I found it. So I'm going to send it to you, and then you guys are all listening to this. I am going to, I'm going to put this in the, uh, I'm going to put it in the um, podcast notes and then you guys can jump all over. Yeah, I'm curious to see it, right? Because yell at me or whatever you guys want to do. The know. reality is the only one that can protect you in today's world is you. Is you. Yeah. 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 Right? You're, 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 you're your best and worst enemy. Anyways, I'm done with this. Done wow. with it. What a fucking rant you are. I on. know. I, I like, I just, anyway. And I have to look at this. Uh, I have to be the one going out and I, you know, okay, listen, guys, Phil's <laughs> not that bad. Okay. This is what I think he's trying to say. Put a little heart to this oh, podcast. Oh, what happened to you know, Chang there? Like, <laughs> you know, let's, let's okay, let Venucci go because he's a little kinder. He's softer. He's much, he's a much more better person, apparently, because, you know, he's a little, you know. Oh, my God. He's a little sensitive. He's trying really hard. Yeah. I know. Thank God we did this podcast 10 years ago. Oh my gosh. Man, what's going on with you? What's new? But just project on project on project. And they're not even project. Like, I, I had one today. Okay, okay, fuck, here's my problem. So I'm reading this to Amelia. Okay. I, I don't, okay, and don't, nobody listen to this part because don't, don't be stupid like, like I am. <laughs> so like, I've got a whole bunch of gigs and I've done stuff. I've done yeah. two contracts. Um, since I've been doing this two and a half years, almost three years, uh, they were both for like five hour sessions. I've been 
on contract with people a year and a half. I really know, like, honestly, like, you know, nothing down, never wrote a proposal, never went in and said, Hey, this is what I'm going to do for you. And documented it and said, you know, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I guess someone says, Hey, you know what? I would like to get a proposal from you. Yeah. For the following. And I'm looking, I go, I don't know what the fuck do I write? Well, I don't know. What do you mean a proposal? Anyway, you don't want to just come down and let's do some stuff. Like, what are we doing? I got to tell you what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. So they wrote down, you know, these are the objectives. I even remember to Amelia, I said, hey, how do I respond to this? Yeah. She even, she goes, she goes, I don't know. She goes, you don't know how to write a proposal. <laughs> I said, I realize that's why I'm asking you. I said, I don't know what I'm going to write. I said, you know, mm. I'm almost tempted to phone him and say, Ma, what do you want? So, I have some experience with this. I know you. That's why I told Amelia. I said, I'll talk to Phil. <laughs> so I've, I've written a bunch of proposals. I, the best, so I think it depends on who you are. For me, the best jobs that I've done have been ones where I'm like you, where we go in, we talk about it. I'm super clear hey, with the around. answer. And, and, you know, like. Yeah, like, you kind of go. You know, yeah, and then and then interlocate said to me, "Well, how do we do this?" And I go, "Here, why don't we do this?" Right? So, you need me for this. I'll I'll package this thing together. You can expect a bill for give or take this much. How does that sound? Yeah, yeah that's but, great. but you based you know, it like, on like you you knew what you were. That's see, like, I'm looking at. I don't know how long this is going to take. Uh, no, no, yeah, I I would definitely estimate it out. I mean, I would. I, would, I know you have you to. Know, but I'm looking. Yeah. At, I don't know. What the hell do I know? I don't know how long this is going to take. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody ever asked me for the time. I don't what, know what uh, it takes as long as it takes. What, what are you worried about? I'm not going to rob you. Well, Remember, no. on the podcast, I'm the nice guy. Yeah. I'm not going to. What do you propose? What do you need to? to no, you kind of need to figure out what you might. Like, do you think it would take five hours ish? No, shit. Like a lot more than that? Or like. It's, it's, I can't tell you the industry. Yeah. To find the various roles of the divine department and set up KPIs for each role and responsibility oh so we can God. measure success. Why are you Why? writing more policies? Who decides what product store? Okay. How do we set it up? Okay. Our planogram is important. <laughs> do all stores participate? How do we communicate the stores? How much core product in each store? No, that's huge. Thinking, yeah, I, I can do gotta, all this, but but you got to break it all out though. So you got to you almost got to bucket it and say, look, well, that's too I gotta much write work. You they, no, they just got to trust me. Like this is why I see I don't understand. So I, I just look at someone. Well, what, what are you doing? Seriously, I'm gonna come down. We're gonna sit. I'm gonna we'll look around. We're gonna watch some stuff. Then we're gonna do some stuff. How long is it gonna take? Not too long. So, I don't. So, I don't want to be here forever either. So the what's that worth? I don't know. Opposite, yeah. So the opposite has happened to me too, where. I've put up formal proposals in ev- in almost every case. They haven't been nearly as much fun, and they just suck, right? Like, because I I think it's um I think it's a sign of definition, right? Because it's it's like when I work with you know like us, right? Like you know our friend, we, we didn't sign anything. I kind of went, oh, yeah. yeah. He was all right? excited. And he was and like, woo, you know, let's do it, you know. <laughs> We're Before you know it, he's yeah, texting like, to me on Sunday. Yeah. So when's the proposal? I said, yeah, yeah. you were in the phone call. Give it, give it a chance. The poor guy, this is the weekend. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, like. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. So I, yeah. Hmm. But that's huge though. Like I, huh. How are you going to. I think I'm going to phone him. You don't going to tell him. I don't know how to write a proposal. What do you want? I know what you want, but what do you want me? What do you want to know? Do you want to know how long this is going to take me? Do you want to know what I'm going to charge? What do you want to know out of this? Because I can't tell you. Like he I don't probably, know. Like he probably wants to know. Um, I guess I could do an assessment. You'd probably have to say, break oh. it out into a bunch of modules, right? So it's almost like if you think of it like there's a bunch of job descriptions and then there's a bunch of kpis for the job descriptions and then there's deliverables that measure the kpis right so it's almost like three different modules um so you know, it's formal yeah yeah it, to- it totally does but this is you know this is what this i'm is saying the real world. Like, it's not my world it's not 
it's not my cup of tea. Buddy, like, I just, I, I walk I, in, you know what it is? You know, I, I yeah. see you, we sit down, we talk, you yeah. like me, I like you. Yeah, yeah, You know yeah. what we do? We do, we do business. And, and, and we set up a, we a rough framework, right? Like, you know, there are moments where you go, listen, like, I can do that. I think it's going to take me like four or five-ish hours. If I get over eight, I'll call you and then you can decide, you know, <laughs> if you want me to keep going or not. But otherwise, I, you know, it'll be somewhere in there, right? Like, and this is what I charge for somewhere in there, right? Like, yeah, I and guess. then usually that's, that's enough, right? Like at least with the people I work with, that's enough, right? So, um, I guess I've I had nothing that's stopped. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's sort of the problem I'm having with yeah. it is in a funny way, right? I, I go into all these places and it's, I, I it's almost like now they just, they're always calling. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and, and they know that I, I can't go, you know, if they know, okay, I think because basically we're paying me, I got, we got four days a month. They just call me four days a month. Yeah. Yeah. What do we yeah, do yeah. each time? Yeah. Depends on what they need done. Whatever needs to get done. Some accounts is yeah. work, work. Yeah. Some, Some accounts is, is sitting around the table and yeah. strategizing and discussing because yeah. I'm not in their weeds and they yeah, like yeah. the fact, okay, this guy doesn't cost that much per se. Yeah. Like they had to go hire a real a consulting firm. You know, they'd be spending yeah. sh- shitloads of money and they know yeah, that. So they, they get, get this guy to come in. Fifteen minute, right? Like, <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah Go yeah. in, sit down. Like today, it was yeah. awesome. Today, I was there not from 9.30 till 3.30. And that was super fast, six hours. But I love yeah. the people I'm working yeah, with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And I love what we're trying to do. Yeah. And they love the input. But yeah. I got dragged into trade marketing today dragged into a sales med- manager meeting at the end of the month yeah. into um, um, an enterprise meeting, then into a forecast meeting and then into an international market meeting. That's awesome. So, you know what? Well, yeah. I know, what, 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 you know what I knew before I got in there today? Yeah. Nothing. I had to be there at nine 30. That's hilarious. I didn't know the day was going to go with, you know what I mean? So like, yeah. I got you. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'll, I'll throw you something I built that has a, it's, it's not similar, but there's some component, like the way I had to do it, it has component. Yeah, if you got a framework and I'll take a look at it. I mean, at the end of the I day, can, I, it works because you know, I'm going to phone and say, listen, I, I'm not this guy. I, I'm not, I'm not a firm. I ain't going to come down with this fucking pages of, yeah, a, yeah, yeah. yeah, da, 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 da. I, I don't yeah, do that. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to come in, we're going to sit down, we're going to look at things together. What it, what it takes is what it takes. I'm not the guy that's, you know, I'm not, I have no interest in ripping anybody off. If it goes a little longer and I had fun, I'm not going to give a shit. Yeah. You know, it'll work for everybody. Okay. I'm sending this over to you. Yeah. Oh, did I lose you again? No, no, I'm here. I'm here. Can you hear me? Can no, I may have lost you this no, no, I know this oh. Fortnite. Uh, yeah, it's me actually. Are you there? Is that you this time? I think it's me. That was so weird. Oh, I don't know why. Maybe because I'm because yeah, maybe your kids are on Fortnite. Yeah, probably my kids on Fortnite. I know mine probably is. Okay, there you go. I just sent it to you. Um I realized something today. So I uh so it's funny, right? We we've been we've been kind of laughing about me taking this full time job thing. Well, I laugh every day. Uh, yeah, you know. So the funny thing is, today was the day that I looked at all our stuff and went, "You know what we really need? We need a sales deck." <laughs> <laughs> that was so. So for the you know audience, how true it probably was though. Yeah, you needed probably something to put it into a format. Like, what is it? What do you do? Yeah. Yeah. So, so the funny thing is like, so Kenny, um, you know, so the audience knows Kenny texted me today and said, listen, like, so, so for your reference, we're recording a couple of days earlier than we normally do. Right. Cause, um, Kenny's got some stuff coming up. So I'm like, yeah, no problem. And he's like, Hey, how's the job? And I go, you know, it's kind of like the same crap all the time. Right. And that literally five minutes before that I'm looking at, you know, because, it's a bigger business, right? Like there, there are 50 people here, but most of them are tech people, right? There are very few. There's a handful of salespeople, you know, it's kind of a complicated tech business. But once I sorted it all out, I was like, wait, like our sales talk, (laughs) it's 
non-existent. Like, what is this 14-page written document we're sending out? And they're like, well, you know, this is when we go to prospective customer. Like, you're Nobody's reading, reading that shit, you a 14-page written document? Pictures. Like, we're, <laughs> pictures. <laughs> like pictures and graphs. <laughs> Don't give me too much. If I'm going to read a freaking book, I'll go to the library. <laughs> so I was laughing at myself going, you hired me full time to do this. I charge brands like five hundred bucks. <laughs> oh, that's awesome! Oh my god! It's, just, uh, it's not even marketing one hundred and one. It's like grade twelve marketing. No, we haven't even started the marketing part. Like, just, oh, that's awesome! Oh my god! Oh my god! So I just. But like, you know what, though? Yeah. Welcome to welcome to yeah, especially in your yeah. welcome to tech startups. Yeah. Cause you yeah. do, you got a bunch of propeller heads around and they're all yeah. brilliant at what they do. Yeah. They really they don't are. know shit on how yeah. to sell. No, no. And they couldn't explain, no. they couldn't put it, they couldn't go to a layman like me. I'd, I'd be looking, I'm thinking, I have no idea what you're telling me. Yeah. yeah. It, where, where's the, you know what? Where's the sales deck? Cause I can't talk to you anymore. Yeah, <laughs> Give yeah, me yeah. the picture with yeah. the graph. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, it's, it's too like, many I've words. Been there, you know, a handful of days, I guess this is my first real full-time week and I'm like, you know, what is it, Tuesday, right? And I've already like, you know, oh my gosh, like we, we don't know how to say anything, right? Like, because, you, because you, but because you're, you're talking to each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put a room of propeller heads together. What are they all saying? Nobody understands yeah, it except, yeah. them, except them. Yeah, it's like, they it's like Star people. Trek people speaking Klingon to themselves, right? Well, exactly. And you're thinking, okay, I, I don't know what the hell you're telling yeah, me. Yeah, I don't understand it. So, so you got to put it into yeah. lay yeah. terms, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. So anyway, I'm, anyway, I literally had that moment. Like, so you were like, how's it going? I'm like, this is too long for a text. I got that's so funny. To tell you. That's so funny. <laughs> I have to do a sales deck. Yeah, no, I'm serious. I like, that's like, it, I read it like eight times going, this is really well written. And then I realized like, wait a second. Like, who cares is a good written deck? Like, no one's going to read, read it. This. Like, oh my God. You know, and who's going to read it? Nobody. I did. I read it for everybody because it's that's my point though. Yeah, but you you have to read it. Yeah, yeah. If that got sent to you and you're no. one of the potential perspective, you know what you do? Mm. What the hell is a stupid thing? It's like a white well, paper. I'm not gonna read it. Well, when we're buyers, like that is the perfect moment where you go, I don't know. Oh, you wouldn't even I wouldn't you wouldn't get a listing why because I wouldn't yeah. understand. I, uh, listen, you presented I you, I ripped those pages out. I don't I don't give I don't yeah. want, give me you know what I want. Can go give now, me a you picture. Know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Give me some quick details. Yeah. Give me a price and get out yeah. of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's. Exciting. I don't want to read a book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, so so you know, fancy but not fancy, right? Like the problems are all the same, right? So all the same, right? It's, well, yeah. it, what it comes down to is basic communication. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. how are you talking to your customers? You, they, these guys want to send, you know, because I'm going to be the customer. It's not going to be some tech guru. It's no. going to be some guy that's, yeah. you know, needs to get something yeah. to figure out how to solve this problem. Yeah, yeah. You know, and all the tech goobity goop, the, the, yeah. the guy buying probably doesn't, yeah. doesn't, doesn't care per se. Well, I think, so I, I actually think that what has to happen, so I think that the deck is going to get more sophisticated because there's going to be a handful of pages for the guy like us who's going to yeah. be like, look, I'm the guy looking for whatever the crap is that my company needs that I don't quite understand. And then I think the other job that we need to be able to do is we need to be able to bring it back and help him sell it. Do you know what I mean? Like, 100%. So, so 100%. as soon as they show up in the organization, because they're going to go, yeah, this is the thing. And then they show up inside the organization and go, you know, the, the thing and the thing. And you got to... Well, because I don't understand how to sell it. I just know what you told me. What? You know, so exactly. yeah, so the deck actually needs to be built so it can be ripped apart. So every, you know, cross functional group that needs this gets a page out of this deck. Exactly. And then that guy goes, Look at me, I'm brilliant. Look, I figured out how to speak it in your language, right? Like off you go. That's, that's you know? what you want so, though. Let yeah, the techies yeah. talk to the techies yeah, yeah. and the buyer talk yeah, to the yeah. seller. Yeah. Because yeah. hey, they're really checkity, different checkity, languages. Checkity. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah. It's funny, I had someone ask the other day, the same group who's doing this, yeah. about buying. They said, did you know everything about your products? I looked, I said, what do you mean? He goes, well, you know, did you, you know, really study your products? I said, listen, I said, the only people in the buying department that were the fucking camera and computer guys because they thought they needed to know all this shit. Mm -hmm. Not understanding that again, mm -hmm. 
All you need to know is what does the consumer want to buy? Yeah. That's the most important yeah. part. All the bullshit in your yeah. head is important. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Do you need to be that grand? Do I need to know where the molecule came from? No. I don't give a rat's ass. No, no, no. Well, and Canada then, regulates and then, it. And then you I know people, Johnson, right? Johnson's pretty, yeah. pretty you know, on the up and up. Yeah. I just make sure that the customer wants it. Is it packageable? Does it look okay? Is it priced properly? I said, that's and you, like, know, that's, and like, you know people, right? Because, you know, Joanne that, Ferguson and, and Lynn Shiseido, when they came in, you, you'd see it on their face, right? Like they'd sell you the Dickens, but you go. Well, they filtered uh -huh, before tipping. I can, yeah, you know, I saw the filter and then you still had to bring it in, but I can yeah. see it. I don't, no, sorry, yeah. right? Or like, yeah, you're excited. I'm excited. Let's go. Yeah. Right? So, you know, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's because at that point, we're no longer buyer and seller. We're all for three customers. Yeah. And saying, okay, if yeah. we were the stores, would we buy this? And yeah. even if we wouldn't buy it, I'm thinking like as a customer who's already in this set, yep. you know, would this be something that would interest me if I was here? Yeah, it would. Okay, yeah. then we should probably list it. Yeah, yeah. Do I need to yeah. know the structure? No. No. Do I need to know how mm -hmm. to make it? Couldn't give a shit. No. Yeah. Couldn't give a shit. Yeah. Honestly, could not care. I don't care how it works in your body, how it doesn't work in your body. I just know that in your head it does work. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And it's been approved and nobody's going to get die from this stuff. Yeah. I yeah. mean, there's going to be some complicated, but there were a pharmacy and you go talk to the professionals. Yeah. Well, my job is to make sure that it's available for you to buy yeah. at the right price at the right time. And yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, and yeah. I told these guys the same thing. I said, listen, if you want to be as a buyer, if you want to be the expert of Chardonnays, sure. Light it up. That actually sounds like fun. It's actually, it sounds like a hoot. Does yeah. it make you a better buyer? No. No. To be honest with you, probably makes you a dangerous buyer and probably makes you a buyer that's got way too much bias because you know too much. Yeah. Because and you're probably not going to be open-minded. Like it's not. Well, plus you you're not going to take, you're not going to yeah. take a good looking bottle because yeah. it's not the right Chardonnay. I don't yeah. give a shit what you think. Yeah. That yeah. bottle's going to sell. Yeah. To, 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 to this end user, do, do you yeah. care if, it, if you don't like it? I don't give a shit if you like the Chardonnay or not. No. Nope. nothing to do with anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? I know, I know. I so sometimes I think the more you know, the more dangerous you become, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, man. <laughs> that yeah. is, you know, that's what's going on. Um, trying to think of what else is going on. Uh, I got nothing. I got proposal angst. So I got to go figure out how to, you know, manage that. Yeah. 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 You do. You do. Um, no, I, other than that, I'm, I'm writing, um, <laughs> I'm writing content like nobody's business into locate and, and I are, we're on a tear. I, I figured out how to unlock her, her business, I think. So, you know, last week was website. This week is articles, more articles, um, expanded content plan, content, 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 content. Yeah. I mean, I think it's because we figured out her audience, right? Like, so to, to what we talked about last week is we finally figured out who, you know, when you're in a B2B business, it's, it's harder because you got to figure out who your buyer is, um, you know, and then who it's for. Um, but uh, now we figured it out, right? So now it's, now it's like, okay, I figured out who it is. Now I can target them and figure out how to knock it down, right? So yeah. Yeah. Plus, again, I think once you figure that out, like, I mean, I, I, after we talked, because <clears throat> I mean, I have two food distributors, right? It's all yeah. B2B, right? Yeah. So we definitively need to know who our B, who are yeah, that's, a, that's the challenge. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I get that. The yeah. thing is what we really need to figure out who the C is, because if I can figure out who the C is, then I can go to the B and say, listen, here's why you need it. Yeah. This customer is in your store. Yeah and looking for this product and here's the reasons why. Yeah. And yeah. if you're looking for shelf space, see that product over there that you love, that's the wrong person. The, you might the, be getting him or her, but it's not yeah. the right one. The food thing is really complicated because you've got, you've got a, it's B to B to C, but it's actually B to B to B to C, right? Like if you think about, if you've got a food product, um, you know, so if I'm the distributor, you know, or I'm the, I'm the buyer at the grocery store, Kenny sells it to me, I'm selling it to mom, but mom's not consuming it. It might actually be a kid who's consuming it. So you're actually so going, that, that, that mom is the critical see, one, right? right? Yeah. But, but it is, it's almost like you, you gotta, 
you got yeah. two end targets, right? Because you Absolutely. need to market mom. So she knows, hey, you know, nutrition, nutritionally, this is a great thing to buy. But the, you're not going to say that to a kid, right? You're going to say to the kid, like, this has got wicked taste or there's a prize at the bottom. You, know, you should tell your mom that you should buy it, right? Exactly. So, um, you know, and then you got to figure out how to layer all that up to, yeah. you know, the, the buyer to be able to buy it, right? So it's complicated. It can be. Man. It can be, right? But, yeah. I mean, what do you do? No, you do it. <laughs> That's exactly. what you do. You, do, you, it. you do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Well, you don't sit down and wait the whistle this time writing proposals. Stupid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it takes all time, too much time. <laughs> ah. you, know you know what I propose? It's I'm gonna come in, do some work for you. You're gonna pay me, yeah. and we're gonna be happy. That's yeah. what I propose. Propose we do it. Yeah. I propose we just shut up and do it. Yeah. 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 I know, man. Man. Well, you gotta go. You gotta go and build this proposal. Hopefully, that thing helps you. That um, I said, I'm gonna take a look at it. I'll take a look at it now. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I'm let sure it, it can't you. hurt. I mean, honestly, I know the way I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get all. Well, and I'm gonna put, tomorrow. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna phone and say, "Listen, what do you want?" I said, "I don't understand this proposal shit." Okay. Bottom line, can I help you? Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, yeah. Do I know your industry? No, but I know your industry. Yeah, I mean, I guess you know what it depends I mean? Again, on what he's after. I don't need to know the widget. It's it's basically that the mechanics yeah. are all the same. It's but just going it, to take some time. I just wonder. I want if it's um, if it's a cost thing, you can figure that out. If it's a timeline thing, you can figure it out. If they're just getting just a proposal just for a proposal, then it's kind of annoying. I right? don't think it is. I think what they're mm -hmm. trying to figure out. I think really what it is, it comes down to a cost thing. Is what they're trying to figure out if I go by the hour, like what's this going to cost us? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Where I'd rather go in and tell them, listen, I mean, I can, I can tell you if you went into the real world and went into some big, big gun who's going to write all these wonderful proposals, they're going to be four times my price. Yeah. I, that I can tell you emphatically for sure. Yeah. yeah. And they're not going to get it done any faster. And it sure the hell won't be as fun. Yeah. Right? So at the end of the day, because yeah. you know what? I mean, we can bury one project at a time. And if you don't like me, pay me yeah. for what I've done. And, yeah. and, and I'll no, tell you what, don't. I'll even recommend a few people that might be better suited yep. to you. I yeah, don't yeah. care. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's hard. It's always the first leap, right? The first step is people got to take a chance. Yeah. A chance. And that's the other thing. You know what happens to you? You got you you to be a real smart ass. You know, you start thinking, I'm a serious what proposal. I, nobody wants a proposal from me. I just go do work. Yeah, I, you know, but, but I've actually like I've turned people down because I I have had ones where, you know, like I've said, you know, hey, this is what you need. It's pretty clear to me. I think I can do that in about five hours time. This is what it'll cost you. And they go, yeah, you know, can you submit a proposal? Can you be really clear about you know? And then no. and at that point, I go, you know what? I I I don't really do that, right? Like like you know. I'm here with you. Uh -huh. If you trust me, you trust yeah, me. I'm coming in or you're not coming you know, in. Yeah, it. yeah. You know, like, and you're an entrepreneur, so you got pretty good skills, right? So you can see who I am. This is who I am. This is how I do it. You know, because in almost every case otherwise where I've submitted a proposal, it's like, you know, one was like, here's, where's the proposal? And then it was like, okay, do we have a plan? I'm like, the proposal is the plan. Like that, that's, yeah. You know, but can you sketch it out more? No, I can't because no, because I sketch it out anymore. Yeah. Basically, yeah, and you know that's what? That's what I'm doing, right? Like hey. I, I've got to go do it, or yeah. <laughs> I can spend more time sketching. But you probably should have hired Deloitte to sketch you more. You know exactly because <laughs> they have people you better to sketch. get a good sketch artist I and then come back and tell me what do you no. think, and I'll tell you which ones there's, we should tackle. Just one of me. I, I can't sketch yeah. with one hand and do with the other. Like yeah, but you remember what they also want to do is they they do that to get as much out of you for nothing. And then figure out, okay, what, what do we think we really need to do here? Yeah. I you know, and, do and that I, at the beginning, right? I talked yeah. and talked, we went through things yeah. and I finally told myself, listen, you've got, you've already done three hours of free information yeah. yeah. right now. You know what? Quite frankly, you don't need me and I don't need this. Yeah. So, so go with what I told you, for figure the it coffee, out, I guess, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm out of here, right? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah figure out what you need, yeah. you know? Yeah. And I said, it, the next phone call, you're on the clock. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. Because and I not can't. to be a prick about it, because honestly, you, you know, this, this no, bullshit back and too, forth, right? back like and it's, forth. it's just not, yeah, yeah. Not time. Yeah. Yeah. I have no interest. You know what it is? Yeah. It's not even time. That's corporate again. I have no yeah. interest in being corporate. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's why this, yeah. if this doesn't bother me, these guys are awesome. Yeah. 
I, I met these guys at the coffee bar. They're fucking hilarious. Yeah. Good goop. I would love, awesome. to, I think we could do some damage. Like, sure. Awesome. I think we a hoot. Yeah. Right. But yeah. I, do, I do, I think what it is, they're just probably thinking, okay, what's this going to cost us? Yeah. Is he going to take us to town or what? So, right. And the problem yeah, they don't understand yeah. is I have no freaking idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's going to cost you. It. I don't know, man. I love it. I love it. If it gets out of control, we'll just yeah. shut her down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. It's awesome, dude. You got no choice but to do this. So it doesn't really matter what it costs. <laughs> what it costs is what it costs. I love it. All right. That's the end of this Commerce Life. We'll be back soon with the next episode. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, give us feedback. Tell us what you think. Subscribe. Like us, join us, share us, tell your friends about us. And uh, we hope to see you next time with, uh, with more commerce news.